let me say this. We see these hurricanes coming. We see other bad things happening. We just saw, well, the solar eclipse came. We know that more and more bad things are going to happen on this earth. You may be trying or saying that you love God and you want to serve God, but if you are lukewarm now, meaning you know right and wrong, you know how to follow the rules and regulations of God, but you are still choosing to do your own thing. Since all of these bad things are happening on this earth, what is going to happen as well, let me say this. <clears throat> When more and more bad things happen on this earth, what is going to happen as well, people are going to start persecuting Christians much more than what it is now. Much more. So if you are lukewarm, if you are on one side and have one foot on the other side as well, meaning you do some things of God, but you enjoy your sinful nature, meaning you, you enjoy sinning as well. What are you going to do when they begin to persecute Christians? As in, what are you going to do? For instance, what if a person places a gun to your head? Are you a Christian or not? Well, if you are lukewarm, if you are not so interested in serving God now, when that happens, you are going to deny Jesus Christ that quickly in many cases. What if they choose to shoot you anyways in the head? Right when you say no because you don't want to get shot, so you say that I don't serve God or I hate God or something like that. And what if they shoot you right after you say that? Would you go to heaven still? I don't think so. What am I trying to say? Oh my Lord. What I am trying to say, right now, you should be trying to build a relationship with God with more reading the Bible and praying and listening to other teachings as well. Because the more you read your Bible, the more you pray, the more you do things of God, it is going to build up your faith. These things may seem very minor to you right now because you enjoy doing bad things in life. You enjoy having fun or whatever else. There is going to be a point of time when you are going to, it is going to be a life and death Thing. I know we may hear stories about people in the Middle East 
as in Christians in the Middle East. They are being persecuted. They have to hide or if they want to teach about God, they can't do it out in the open because perhaps if they do, they are going to be killed. There is going to be a point of time where we have to go through that as well. And from what I was hearing or what I interpret when I listen to some people talk or what they write me, they love this life too much. They enjoy this life too much. They are still carnal. These are some things that you have to think about because it is going to get to that point of time. I'm telling you, if these hurricanes and earthquakes and all this stuff continues to happen, I'm telling you, more and more bad things are going to happen. And you have to be prepared if someone points a gun at your head, look, I don't want to get my head cut off. I don't want to get shot. But when it comes down to if someone tells me to deny Jesus Christ, that is something that I can't do because look, I am teaching people, I am doing good and stuff like that, but all of that would come to naught or all of that would be thrown away if at the last seconds of my life, I deny Jesus Christ. And then let's say that that person kills me anyway then I would be going to hell just like many others will. So everything that I have done in life that was for God would be thrown out. <laughs> if at the last seconds of my life, I deny him and die. Like I said, I don't want bad things to happen to me either, but... I pray that this makes sense. And if you are not doing much for God, if you are not reading your Bible, if you are not and your faith is really low because you are lukewarm and you are choosing to sin and not really change, I believe that you are going to deny God. So this is the time to strengthen your relationship with God now. While times are easier. Because once times get hard, you say that, well, when the time comes, I am not going to deny Jesus Christ. But while times are good, In so many words, you are denying Jesus Christ right now because you are not choosing to serve him in the way that you should. But somehow, I guess you are going to snap your fingers and be a great martyr for God. We have to think of these things. It may come to a point where we have to die for claiming Jesus Christ. Something that you have to think about. I think about this almost every day. If I have to die for Jesus Christ, I'm serious. And we have to prepare ourselves for this. I know that 
we like to look at the good side of things. But what if what we expect does not happen? Because, like I said, there are other Christians who died for claiming or serving Jesus Christ, right? So how are we any different? We don't know when people are going to begin to persecute Christians. We don't know. At least here in America here. We don't know. So, learn as much about God as you can now so when the time comes, when trouble comes, we will have the answer. Do I know everything? No. Not even close to half of everything but I am trying to learn more more and more I want to understand more about you know so I can teach others about what is going to happen or the things that we should expect as Christians to happen to us as in persecutions and stuff like that. What am I trying to say? We have to prepare ourselves to die for Jesus Christ. I know that many people don't want to hear that, but this is something that we have to think of. And if you are the type of person that thinks more about creating a life for yourself on this earth than dying and going to heaven, that is an issue. I think about dying a lot, not as in I want to kill myself and all that foolishness and stuff like that, no. I think about dying and going to heaven so much. Wanting to know what is going to happen, so on and so on. Now, there are some people who think about dying as in killing themselves or uh, because they are in so much pain that they want to die now. I don't think of death in that way. I think of death as in the transfer from this world to the next. That is what I think about. Because some people who kill themselves believe if they die, that's it. There is no life after death. That is what they believe in some cases. Or there are people who know that there is a hell, but they get to that point where they don't care which is crazy but yes I think about death a lot and I think about dying for Jesus Christ a lot as well and we may have to die for him so we have to be ready for that when the time comes this is the reason why you should be searching out information reading your Bible about stuff like this, not about the latest dance move or the latest fashions and all that dumb stuff there. That stuff is silly. It makes no sense. That is what, when you feed so much into the world, it is going to make you less spiritual minded. If all you do all day long is look at things to be entertained, that is going to make you more and more lukewarm by far.
we should gorge ourselves with things of God just taking in more and more information that pertains to God. It is not about having a fun life or having fun and all that stuff that I hear from people. People are going to hell, man. You may go to hell. Why are you concerned about having fun? When you get to heaven, have fun then. Be content. I was hearing this preacher say, be content with being saved. We are not going to be on this earth too long, but so many people are concerned about having fun and dying and going to hell. Fun as in doing sinful things or doing things that is going to push them toward sin. I believe you still can have some type of fun while you are serving God, but from what I was hearing and when I speak to people, they relate fun with doing sinful things, which makes no sense, or doing things that is going to potentially push you to sin, which is silly. Oh, you know, that is just a boring life to do things to get closer to God. <laughs> so really take heed to what I am saying. Because if you are lukewarm now, if you are halfway in and halfway out now, when times are going to get hard because they are going to get much more difficult, you are going to deny Jesus Christ. You will take the mark of the beast as well. Think about that. If you can't serve Jesus Christ now while times are easy, you are not willing to sacrifice the smallest things like TV, music, and stuff like that. You are not willing to give up those things, but you are telling me that you are willing to give up food, your home, and be on the run 24-7. You are willing to do all of that, but you are not willing to give up the simple things now. You are lying. You will you will take the mark of the beast when you are acting lukewarm now in many cases or for most people. Think about that. You are not willing to sacrifice the little that you have to sacrifice now, but in the great tribulation, you are saying that you are willing to not deny Jesus Christ and you are not going to take the mark of the beast and all of this stuff like that. You are saying all of that now, but you can't do the simple things of God now. You are fooling yourself. I would even say the people who are serving God now, there may be a small percent chance that those people, once persecution comes forth, they may fall away as well. So if you are lukewarm, not even serving God, surely many of those people are going to <laughs> fall far away. I pray that this makes sense here. So obtain a stronger relationship with God now. Let me say this too. And this is kind of out or off the subject that I was speaking about, but let me say this. Back when I was in sin, 
I really would not have any demonic dreams. Yes, I would dream about going to hell because God, <laughs> every so often I would have a hell dream because God would try to get me to start doing right by him. I would serve God for a week or so, then I would go back to sin. I did not really have too many demonic dreams. Now, there was a time when I saw something, but as a whole, not too many demonic things. Okay. Once I really gave my life to God, everything just turned up just turned up so many demonic dreams so many times where I would see something and the more I started to serve God the more I started to serve God more and more crazy things happens even while I am not asleep, my eyes are open and I can see demonic things. But back when I was in sin, I could not see those things. I did not experience those things. What am I trying to say? I forgot the point. <laughs> I had the point in in my mind, but I forgot the point. <laughs> I forgot the point. My Lord. Whatever. <laughs> I pray that this makes sense. Maybe after I end the video, it may come to me, but <laughs> but like I was saying, when I was in sin, I did not experience so much demonic things that I experience now. Not even close. And the closer I get to God, the Bible gets more and more and more real to me. For instance, is it Ephesians 4 and 29? I don't know. Where it speaks about our fight is not with humans, but with demons and principalities and stuff like that. That becomes more and more real to me the closer I get to God. Because times before, I would not see demons or moving shadows and all of this crazy stuff. But now, I see that stuff more and more clear now. And my main point is Obtain a close relationship with God now because it is really going to help you. Like I said, once the great tribulation comes forth and if you are still here or whatever else, if you can't serve God now, Kevin, I am not going to take the mark of the beast, but your faith is weak now. Your faith is weak. You can't handle a person looking at you crazy. You are willing to go off on that. You can't handle a person doing something to you, but you are saying that you are not going to take the mark of the beast. Yes, you will. All a person would have to do is put some pressure on you. Boom, you are taking the mark. Your faith is already weak. You are not serving God. Think about that. Or you are lukewarm. 
believing that doing good deeds or going to church every Sunday and Wednesday makes you right with God, which going to church is good. But thinking that only going to church and doing good deeds for people makes you saved. No. It is obedience. So let me stop here. Think about this. Think about this. It is time to get stronger in God now because when times get hard, it is really going to test your faith and you are either going to get stronger in God or you are going to fall away from God. It is going to get to that point. So there will be a clear separation from the sheep, the people who serve God, and the goats, the people who are in sin. There is going to be a clear separation, very clear. So these people that you see that may seem like they are actually serving God, you are going to see when times get hard that they were just playing around. They are not serving God. They are part of the goat section. So let me stop here. God bless.